In this video, we're going to focus on how we can add, for example, a value where we update this nicely. As you can see, if I click on this, the text here will be updated nicely. But look at this. As we add up a new row, the text maintains in the center. So if I keep on pressing this, you will see while the donut ring shrinks, it still shows it nicely in the center. So let's start to look how we can do this. So let's start to look how to update the text in the center of a donut chart in Chart.js. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to get a border template, which you can find here on Chart.js3.com getting started. And this specific link you can find as well in the description box. Once you're on here, just copy this chunk of code here. And if you want to understand what this code does, watch this video here that explains it all. And then what I'm going to do is I paste it in there, cut out the title, put the title in here, save, refresh. Now we have this, what I want to do, I want to convert it into a donut chart. So first of all, I'll maximize the size and just say here 50%, save, and then go down here. We're going to say here, this will be our donut chart, save, refresh. As you can see here, we have this nice large chunk uh, or big chart now, square. Let's remove the scales here because we don't have a scale and what I want to do is a comma and I'm going to say here cut out percentage will be 90% save refresh there we are so now we have this what I want to do is I want to add up a button here and that button basically would add up a new value in here and it needs to update basically the chart itself so what I'm going to do here I'm going to say here um, a button and this button we're going to say you on click and I'm going to trigger a function here so I'm going to say here update chart for example I'll just say here update very simple or add value so if I save this of course nothing happens we don't have any functionality built in yet in JavaScript however we have the button here so what I'm going to do now is we're going down here and first of all before we even make the function that would be here the function of update that is the name of it we'll leave this blank for now because it has nothing yet because we need to first draw the text within the center so how do we do this well after the options I'm going to say comma and then I'm going to say plugins and I'm going to create a new custom plugin which you can call our center text copy this and let's make the center text with a T here that is proper copy this so we have a what we call a camel case or a cattle case uh, naming convention so next what I want to do here slash slash this and I'm going to say the plugin block as a comment so I remember what this was and then I'm going to say your constant center text then I'm going to say your ID and this will be the ID of the center text that's the same object name next what I want to do is when do I want to draw this I want to draw this basically after I draw the donut slices here so we're going to say after the data set has been drawn, we will create this text. So I'm going to say here, after data sets with an S and then draw. So after that, we're going to put in the chart, the arcs and the plugin options. Although I won't be using the last two, I will only use this one here. So then what I'm going to do here is an object destructuring. And if you want to understand object destructuring, please check my video, which is in the description box, understanding chart.js object destructuring. So I'm going to say constant equals the chart object. And then what I will do here is I'm going to say here CTX. I want to draw the text here. And do we need anything else? I guess we don't need anything at all, except for the CTX to draw in the canvas. So I guess we can just keep it like that. Now, what I want to do is I want to start drawing. I'm going to say here ctx.save to save all variables above. And then what I want to do is I want to grab basically the x and y coordinates on here. And here's the tricky part. A donut chart doesn't have a scale. We remove the scale because the scale doesn't really exist in here. However, we do have the ability to get the center of this point nicely with a built-in command in chart.js. So I'm going to show you this. I'm going to say console log, and this is a built in command. We first get the chart object. This is chart dot get data set meta, and this is a function. So we put in parentheses here, number zero. So if I save this now, refresh, open up developer tab, you can see we get an object here, and this object shows us a lot of information. And if you click on the data here, we are able to get 
all the x and y coordinates. But if you look very carefully, they are all consistent. Why? Because it's basically calculated from the center or the starting point of a arc shape. And an arc is basically a circle or you could make curved lines with it. But a full circle or a full arc is a circle. And the starting point of that arc is always the center. So you can see these are just the starting point of it. So let's grab those and put it in here. So we can say your dot data. And you can see that since they are all identical, it doesn't matter if we get zero or any other number here of the index because they are identical. So we say here index zero and we say dot x. So if I save this, refresh, we get this. Now what I want to do is I want to duplicate this. Say here y, save, there we are. Now we have these numbers, let's draw those numbers and put them, or put a shape in there just to test if the center is truly the center based on this. So I'm going to say here, ctx dot fill, uh, um, sorry that's not, it's rec, oh, sorry, it's not fill, re it's fill rectangle, that's around. And then what I need to do here is the x coordinate, the y coordinate, the width and the height. So basically, what is the x and y? That's this one here. To make it easy, I'm going to just say here, constant x equals this. And then here, constant y equals that. Once I have this, we have the x and y already. So for the width, I'll just make it 20 pixels. And for the height, I'll do 20 pixels as well. Save this, refresh, and you can see now, if you look very carefully, you see it is exactly between this item here, and then I guess it should be a quarter here to calculate that, but it doesn't have, but it's truly center and then center, but you might say, well, hold on, it's more to the right than in the center. That is correct because it draws, the starting point of the drawing is in the center. So since we have a width of 20, if you want to recalculate the position, we need to do here minus 10 because 50% of this, same here, minus 10, save, and then you can see here now it moves exactly into the center here. All right, now we have this, but what I want to do here is, I don't want to do it like this, I want to have text. And uh, let's grab one of these texts here. So what I'm going to do here is simply this. I'm going to say here constant, and then I guess what we could do is because we want to grab here the text, we should basically get here the data labels. So I'm going to get here the data. I'll grab this one here. And then what I'm going to do here, constant, and we want to say here text will be equal to the data that labels. And to make it very fancy, because we want to push later values here at the very end, what I want to do here is basically to grab the last value. If this is the last value, that is fine. If we later on press the button and add a new value, let's say a uh, new value, then we should show that value instead. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to use just a simple trick. I'm going to say data dot data labels. And I'm going to say dot length. So what I want instead is I don't want the shape here. I want the text. So I'm going to say ctx dot and then what we're going to do here is we're going to do a uh, font. So we say a font to make sure that we have predefined the exact font we want and the font size. So I'm going to say here, let's make this bold. And I'm going to say 12 pixels. And we're going to say a sun serif as font size. So we have this now. And what I want to do is because basically, if I will have now the items, we're going to say ctx dot font. Oh no, uh, sorry, fill text. And in here we will have the text that we want. We have the X and we have the Y coordinates. So basically what I want to do is X and Y already have defined. Let's remove this shape here. We have the font size here. So what we can do here and the text here would be this. I guess we have everything predefined. So that will be very nice. If I save this right now, and then refresh, you can see here, we have an undefined variable. So we're going to double check here, uh, data.labels, and then we say here, data labels, and you can see the mistake I'm making here. The length will be uh, plus or seven items because we have seven days in here. However, it starts with index zero, so this should be index six. So what I need to do here is I have to deduct it with one or minus one, save, refresh. There we are. However, we're still not satisfied here. It's not really in the center. Let's push it in the center and make this maybe a bit more bigger. Let's make this 30 pixels. There we are. And you can see here, what I'm going to do is the following. I'm going to say here, 
ctx.text align and I want the alignment of the text instead of left I want to put a text align center just basic CSS but we don't do CSS here so we're doing it in JavaScript itself or in a canvas language that's what we're really doing so we say here in the canvas language make sure that this is in the center all right what we could do as well is to make sure that it is that the line height is correct or the baseline would be in the middle I'm going to say here ctx dot text base line with capital B equals middle. This will ensure that we are in the center, like the line height in CSS. So now we have this here. What I want to do now is go down here to this function and build a function. And what I want here is basically this. I'm going to say here my chart because that's the chart object that we're going to grab here. And with the my chart, what I want to do is I want to push a value for example there's a new value of number three we're going to add up here but then we also need to push here in the labels something as well if we don't do that it will not draw because the uh, amount of slices will be shown only based on the labels we have and let me show you this or so you understand it so i'm going to say here my chart dot data dot data sets index zero and then we say here data and we're going to hit dot push and what we're doing here is we're going to add up a new value in the array if we do this and if we then say here my chart dot update to update the item save refresh and if we would press now you can see nothing truly happens what happened is probably there is something uh, new values added but they're not showing because the labels are in short supply basically because we have the amount of labels we have here is seven and the data would be more but this overrules the display. So this is very important. So we're going to put in, in the labels something as well. And I'm using a push because with an array of push method, we are allowed to add a value at the very end. So that's why we're using this. So what I'm going to do now is besides this, what I want to do is I want to say push data dot labels. And then what I'm going to do here is dot push. And what I'm going to say here, this, we can say here, new if i save this refresh and now if i press all right interesting it doesn't work yet so let's double check what we're missing here you can see update chart is not defined all right i guess we have to copy this update and my bad you can see here i have a different function name copy this function here put it in here save that refresh and now we should be able to see an adjustment all right as you can see here it starts to also add new items in here what i want to do and this is really nice is as we add up more it moves this but this maintains in the center let's see if we add up another line as you can see here the donut ring starts to reduce itself or shrink and this will maintain in the center relative to the donut chart or donut ring this is very important however what i want to do is when i click on this i want to still see a, a plus one or adding up one at a time so what i'm going to do here basically I can just say this I'm just going to put in here value we call this hoisting putting it at the very top basically we're going to say let and then we're going to give this a, a item as a click and then what we're going to do here is well let's say click will be equals zero and then copy this put it down here and we're going to say click plus plus so we want to add one every time we click on this and if we save this now and this click plus plus or click variable we want to put in here in a new so we're going to say here a template letter uh, sorry a template literal because we're going to concatenate so we have this new here but we're going to use here back tick back tick and then we're going to say here dollar sign and put in the variable because this is an easier way for concatenation put in the click variable here save and then refresh now if i press on this you can see here as i keep on pressing on it will show the number and it will update the numbers as well and that's basically how to do this so if you enjoyed this video and maybe you want to do something more for example hoover effect in that case i'm going to recommend you this video here on how to show text in the center on hoover in a donut chart in chart.js